Zach, these are human footprints, and they're extremely large. Yes, Zach, I agree. These footprints must belong to someone who's used to walking around in cold temperatures. This frost is shaped like something we're very used to seeing. That's right, a body bag. Lisa's body must have been left here, but there are no signs that the bag was dragged away. So our criminal must possess monstrous strength. These pallets are a mess. Looks like this area isn't used often. Still, the idea to store a body here, it's a novel, sophisticated idea unlike anything I'd ever come up with. An icicle. Never thought I'd see one of these down in the south. Boxes that got left behind. I can't tell what's inside. What do you think, Zach? I'm going to go with... Okra. Yeah, okra. I'm sure it must be okra. That's a staple of the South. Look at the thermometer, Zach. It's at 10 degrees Fahrenheit or a minus 12.2 degrees Celsius. This must not be the Boxes of the past? Or presence of the future? Either way, this is a curious time capsule. Forgotten boxes. Looks like, when were these boxes? Zach, can you feel it? Zach, can you see that? Look closely. That's right. There are four imprints in the frost on the top of this. It's hard to believe, but I think these are fingerprints. Yes, Zach, that would lead one to believe that the body napper is a giant who's over 10 feet tall. 